G'day, g'day. Hope everyone's having a good one. Um, today I'm going to record probably the most random and weirdest probably video you're going to see on GeoGen. So to preface, I guess the idea, um, I was at work uh, a couple of days ago and I was just like, okay, what can I come up with that is going to be incredibly just out of the blur? And what popped into my head, as you'll hopefully probably see by the title, um, HDRIs or Skydomes, right? Um, so one thing to note is the export uh, of, um, I guess, uh, like your your um, texture maps from GeoGen are quite like a... What's it? I don't know if elongated is the right word, but I'm um, quite like stretched out, which is what you generally see when doing something like a sky dome. And, and that just popped into my head. I'm just like, shoot, this is weird. So we're trying to do the opposite, I guess, of a planet, like, like the inverse inverse. We're trying to do the inside of it. So I'll get into it. And, and I do genuinely think this is completely workable. I've made two uh in testing so we're going to do a night in a in a daytime uh sky dome uh neither is going to give you the greatest result ultimately if you want a good sky dome you can probably just make one um well one i already know how to make one in blender you can just make one in blender uh which should be fairly simple but uh and they'll give you probably a better result but would take significantly longer um and 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 be quite a lot more complex you can probably make one in houdini i'd assume maybe my i'm not too sure um you could obviously just take one in real life but if you want a really simple almost not not hand painted look but a very kind of like that cartoony kind of style not nothing like hyper realistic um, it's doable okay and i'm just like listen let's just make something random i could make the next video on how to make a mountain in geogen but i've made a couple on that before there's a couple other ones that you're going to find there's there's a bunch of templates and stuff and, and hey i'll keep making some more of those normal ones but this one's just random and we're just going to do something for the for the fun of it so hopefully from this you at least get an idea of i guess the process um that, that I guess goes through and making this and hey maybe this is great and it, and it comes up with more random ideas that maybe you can do um but I guess first and foremost I'll quickly show a random um HDRI just so you guys get an idea of what we're working what we're trying to do right sweet so with like HDRIs like going for something almost like this uh can be pretty pretty cool so it's just quite like a, a stretched image and we're probably going to be trying to do like a lighter blue at the top and like a darker blue at the bottom. And I'm going to be adding some clouds. I, I don't think I'll add a sun. I think you probably could. Would I recommend it? Eh, not really, because then you have to match lighting and stuff like that. So I don't know. It depends. Maybe you'd want to do that. Maybe not. Um, that's up to you. But uh, I'll, I'll get into it. So first and foremost, just delete everything as I've done. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to add a uh, a planet node, which would be, I believe, planet noise. Correct? Correct. So this gets us our starting planet. Uh, we can leave everything as is for now. Um, just note that what you're going to see uh, like on the planet isn't necessarily going to be representative of what you're going to see in Engine. So I'm going to be showing this off, send this up in Unreal Engine um as that'd be potentially a use case for this but um yeah like colors and stuff will be a bit different just take note what colors you choose or what colors it's going to end up being okay so it'll look a little bit different here just to do the lighting setups and whatnot so first and foremost we want to get rid of these bumps and stuff we don't we don't want that now it's not going to be noticeable or anything because we're just exporting the color but you know we're still going to get rid of it just for viewing purposes so let's just bring the octaves down uh, there might be other ways of doing it. I think increasing the scale also does that, but just decreasing octaves seems like the best method for me. Uh, and then that's all we need to do for the planet setup. For both things, that's just the planet setup. And so I guess 
Uh, let's start off with the uh, the night time one. That's the one that I haven't I did a couple of days ago, and I have to remember. Um, so first and foremost, let's get the uh, night sky. And I think for the night sky, um, you can go about it two ways. Do you want like a black night sky? And I think I might do a black night sky. Um, I tried like a dark colored one, but sometimes just due to like the way that coloring works, I'll, I'll, I'll export two different ones, but we'll do a black one for now. Um, maybe with like a tinge of color to it. Um, and then we're going to uh, grab another colorize and we're going to make this one white and these are going to be the stars. Um, so we can just make that white and then it should be fairly simple. So once we plug that in. Uh, all we're trying to do now is we're just trying to mask out the regions for these stars. So if we plug in a um, a planet uh, mask noise, I believe it is. In here, we're going to get a bunch of um, these things here. Now, as you can probably see, this is roughly what we're going to be doing similar to uh, for the clouds. But as, of course, we're not doing the clouds this time, we're going to be playing around with some figures here. So I believe decreasing the scale should give us the uh, right thing. I think that's all we necessarily need to do. I think bringing this down just to, like, make it less is going to give us a great start for the stars. And hey, maybe this is exactly what you're after. Like, you're fine with this. I'm just going to quickly save this and I'd recommend you doing the same as well. Awesome. Um, and, and hey, this is pretty much, you could genuinely just work with this. Like, this works as is. Um, there's, I wish there was a bit more control over stuff. I, I ended up spending quite a while playing around with some of these controls. And, and feel free to play around with these controls as well, right? Like, maybe that is what you want to work with. And this is still a really good, um, project. And you can work with this. All I'm going to be doing is trying to break up everything a little bit more so what i'm going to be doing in regards to that is just adding a background mask same story we're just going to add a um a planet noise and this will add some breakup and then we just want to um i think increase uh oh, decrease so we'll play around with some figures there and we don't want it to be like black because of course there's not going to be um it being that that harsh so we're just going to play around with some of these figures so increase like that and decrease this and, and and it doesn't need to be anything too crazy you can play around with it but um something like that i i don't want it to be too harsh because you'll see why once once it sort of goes into it but um But I don't know, just for a little bit of breakup, maybe that looks nice. Uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe uh, this is bad, me doing this, and I could uh, stop that. And maybe we just won't do this, and I'll just say, yeah, scrap it. But for now, we'll keep it. And all you got to do is just drag out from the colorize, export color. Um, and it's really just choose your directory. Everything else can be the same, standard. Make sure you're using 8 bits when it comes to Unreal, because Unreal only does 8 bit for color. Uh, I think you can technically do 16 bit, but the color will be different. So uh, just note that. Um, we're going to do that. Um, sweet, and we'll, we'll just go, uh, I'll name it, uh, what should we name it? We'll just call this. Um, stars there we go can just export that uh, very quick export we're just doing that at 2k um you can up that to 4k if you're after that but uh that's fine anyway let's um we'll just press c and we'll go stars and we'll just drag this um double click there to disconnect so with that done we can also try making the the sky the sky is a very similar process, uh, very simple, very quick, uh, surprisingly quick, honestly. But uh, let's just drag out another colorized node. We'll leave the planet noise because that's just what we're after, and we'll add a um, a a wither node. Let's go with a node. And what we're doing for this, we're just going to plug this into the gradient. What we're trying to do with this is trying to separate it so it's a gradient going up to down, uh, so we can go two color interpolation 
uh, we'll do the dark color being like a dark blue and then the lighter color being a light blue and so once again ignore uh, what these colors kind of like it's closer to these colors there um, so maybe something a bit more blue like that and we can play around with uh, this so as you can see here, we've now got a gradient of like dark blue going to like lighter blue there. And hey, you can play around with these. Maybe you want it to be higher or lower. Uh, I just leave it as is. Uh, so something like there. Um, because it doesn't need to be too complex. And that's like the base default. And hey, maybe you want to just use this, but we'll we'll keep going and we'll keep adding some clouds here. So just adding a colorize, and these are very simple, right? Like there's nothing too complex with what we're doing here. You could make a significantly more complex uh, thing with this, and and it'd probably look, uh, uh, probably you'd assume, a good bit better. But um, this is more just to show you, I guess, the idea of how these things can kind of work. Um, so we're going to add a planet mask noise here. Um, and I believe... What do we do for this one? This one is just... Um, so we've got a white. Got this in mask. At the moment it's not masking. What, what I'll do, we'll add the um, planet mask noise. That's going to give us the details. Just so we can visualize this now. Why... Are we not able to visualize this? So we got the color into the color. White. Planet mask noise. What are we doing wrong? Hold on, I'll just quickly pause and see where what's going wrong. Never mind, I don't even have to pause for more than two seconds. Make sure you plug in the height map, otherwise you're not going to get a result. Um... That was my issue. And you can play around with this. So uh, just to show you guys if I redid again. Uh, with it actually plugged in this time. Mm, smart guy. Uh, so just weather. Plug it in. It's going to give you this as a result. Um, I'd recommend just already just default setting it to that. And uh, you could probably click the mask itself. So you can visualize it a bit better. But we're going to see. And I might make it to something like that. Um, and then we'll add a background mask of a noise and it's going to add a bunch of breakup and I might actually make it go even lower. Ultimately, you know, if you've got, um, what's it called? Uh, um, you've got like a terrain underneath. You could almost just not worry about that and just have it go all the way. But, uh, hey, maybe you just want it to be a, a portion of the way. And I'm just going off like random stuff here, so. Uh, maybe this isn't necessarily uh, what you want, but uh, from here we can just play around. So the scale, of course, is going to be how big these clouds are going to be. So you can have some like massive clouds, some real small clouds, but a lot of them. Uh, I think I stuck around 22 for mine, just so there's like a, a good bit. And this is all completely optional. Everything here is optional, but you can always add a warp and give it a slight bit of warp. So uh, for my testing, I just did a really large warp on it um, just to give it that sort of like atmospheric kind of like getting warped away just for some breakup um, you can play around with that if you want or not make sure you're saving though just in case it crashes um, though I haven't had many crashes in a while um, and then we can just use for the color and that's pretty much it so just name this um, I guess sky the other one I think was stars um, and once again, just make sure it's in the right directory. So I should probably... Oh, it's already set to project directory, which is fine. But just specify 8-bit again. Uh, everything else is fine. We can export it. You could probably um, keyframe this, honestly. Um, so something cool that you could probably do. I mean, you wouldn't probably want to keyframe this... Uh, um, uh, for like an HDRI, but um, if I went, for example, 150, I like could probably click to the next frame. And if we like played around with some of these, why are we get like a, a cool like 
cloud pattern going. At the moment we got, we slipped both of these. Uh, I think it's control, but we just drag a slit. Do um, the interpolation, we'll just go, go either linear or constant really does the job. And let's decrease the, um, the movement of this and we can go, um, let's just go 300 for example. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm just making this up on the spot really. Um, which is going to give you a cool cloud pattern going on right there. Um, so feel free to play around with that. Alternatively you can also go negative so it sort of looks like it's like coming out of, it's like traveling across the sky. That's a really cool result actually. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, I gotta be honest, completely making this, this up on the spot, so, uh, one, it's pretty cool actually, it's actually really simple to play around with, but also two, maybe you guys can do this in your own projects, if you have something that you want to, maybe you want to go like full, uh, GeoGen project, then, you know, you can do that, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I just remembered that I'm saving this all to the folder with, uh, test stuff, so, uh, trying to f figure out which ones were in the name so i'm just going to plug these in um this is how i set up my projects so feel free to change um this stuff i'm just going to go tx for texture and i'll do the same here um tx and and for those of you who know how to use unreal engine this isn't going to be anything new to you right just adding a material and we just go um I don't know, MAT underscore MAT for material, and we just go sky, oops, sky dome, and then we can create a material instance, and we just go inst sky dome. Awesome. Double click onto the material, and you'll get the uh, material pop up, and we can just um, click these two. Boom. Uh, I mean, for this as well, you could go like texture coordinate, um, drag that out. I think uh, the way that I usually see this up is going, I mean, you could just drag this out or oh, M click for multiply, uh, drag this into UVs. This won't work so much for this, I don't think. Uh, I mean, I could show you, but um, going there, I believe it's S click for a parameter. Um, we just go. Um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, tiling, I guess. Will work. We'll plug that into B. And I can show you. Base color, apply, save. Hopefully these come out fine. Oops. Make sure that your tiling is set to 1, though. Um, the reason that we do that all is so with the instance, um, we now have a tiling parameter, and you can see it. So obviously it won't work well for this. Um, that can give you some really cool results. Um, but but yeah, this will work pretty good for the stars, and I'll show you why. Uh, so if we just go uh, search up sphere, for example, we just drag that in. Um, there may be better ways of doing this. I'm not too sure. This is just the method that I use. Um, we can apply the instance sky dome to it. Uh, one thing to make sure that you're doing is going uh turn on two-sided uh, and it's not plug uh, base color might work we'll, we'll play around with this but um we may want the other side of this story uh one thing if you're doing it for games make sure you do this but if you're not doing it for games uh feel free not to so can character step on no and no collision i'm not too sure if you have to do both of those but i do them both just in case because there's I had issues one time, and I'm just like, you know what, let's just not run into these issues again. Um, sweet, 1000. And are uh, we going to be able to visualize this? Um, element zero. Uh, hold on a minute, let me just figure out what I'm missing. It'd probably be a mission, actually, now that I think about it. Let me just plug in a mission instead of base color. I just realized I did that. Um, you do... Oh, my God. Ultimately, hold on. Click, and then delete. Come on. I think that you can just hold alt or something. I can't remember. Unfortunately, all these are, like, different 
um, buttons and stuff. So here's your sky dome that you got. Um, you could uh, also go to plane, grab a plane, shove it in, set this to zero, zero, zero. Um, slate the plane. I go. I think it's character. If you if you ever um. Uh, is it player? Player start. If you are uh, going off of a template, you can probably do this. Let's go. 2020. Uh, not sure why it's so dark. Oh, because there's no lighting in the scene. But that's uh, what we've got going for this. It actually looks pretty good. Outside of... You've got some weird smoothing issues up the top. I don't think that's wrong with the texture. I think that's just the... Um, the thing but in my opinion this is pretty good right like it's not the best thing in the world and, and you can get better ones but i just think just for such a simple setup it is it works surprisingly well now i don't think the um i was having issues with the stars uh when i last tried them so just apply them here um so there's the stars working uh we're gonna get some issues because of of course the auto exposure setting so uh expo uh is it that's editor oopsie it's wrong one let's go project settings expose i always forget it if it's exposure or but it is exposure so that's sweet uh we can go there and this is the night sky um you can of course tile it so that would just be going into your sky dome uh, make sure everything's all saved and everything tiling and you can get some cool patterns going on there for like oh that's some crazy stuff going on there but so this, this was the thing about having these like regions where there's like less stars unfortunately it can cause some issues um so maybe you'd just want to play around i mean uh, this is ultimately this is the end of the day result so uh no need to uh change too much it'll just be about getting the result that you're after but um if i wanted to uh play around maybe i might remove this just have the flat stars uh without that extra bit and we can um i wish i could decrease the them i wish that like you could play around with some stuff i feel like um i wish there was a little bit more controllability just so i could get this looking even better but, um, can I go like a hundred? Oops. Oops. What are we doing? A hundred. Maybe that's going to give us a good result. Um, <laughs> but ultimately this isn't really, the software's not really made for this. So this is kind of really just doing <laughs> some, some real funky stuff. Um, maybe we could also... We could also color gradient, set them both to be white, albeit it's default thing, terrain lock and doing some like hue chaos maybe. Um, I don't know if that's actually going to work. I don't know if this works for this actually. Uh, I, I don't think it does actually. What about palette lock? Uh, maybe not. I was going to say maybe we could add some, like, randomization, but, um, doesn't seem to do anything there. Play around with some of these, maybe. Increase, like, how bright they are. The only issue that I'm having is some of these aren't very white, but, uh, oh well. We could, I might just save this out again, we can just go stars 2. Export it. Oops. Uh, already exported. And we can just export. Uh, import, sorry. Let me just go. Text underscore. And we'll just put this right into the material skydome. This is just the most jank ass setup, I'm going to be honest. But uh, it works. And it's a little weird, but um, you know what? If something works, I ain't got no complaints. So this would be that, um, the new thing. Good. I don't like that. 
don't know what that seam is. I think that's just the default so I'd maybe have to make my own one. Um, and, and here we've got our own stars. Um, I'm not too sure what exactly I'm after to improve this. Like, if I were to ask for anything to improve doing this, I guess, um, I'm not too sure what it would be, really. Uh, you'd probably have to look at real life reference I'd, you'd probably almost want like other i don't know how you'd go about doing um like bigger brighter stars you could probably do like a second colorize uh on top of this all and then just seeing this to be like white adding another mask planet noise if you wanted like other ones and, and just set this like Point 0.2, because the other one's 0.1, of course. And then just decreasing that. Some brighter ones. But ultimately, you run into the issue of... Um, maybe this would be worth it, because... Oh, actually, that might be good. Hold on. I might have stumbled across something that's literally, like, no different, and I probably... I don't know if that's actually doing anything. Um, output, output... Is it just outputting this? Maybe it is. I don't know. Either way, that's looking a little bit better. Let's export that. I'm thankful that they have done... Uh, I could just have re-edited it on, but sometimes I just like to delete it just in case to make sure that I, we're definitely getting a um, thing. Just going into here. Just reapplying this. Going stars to Plugging it in. Apply... Oh, that's actually a pretty decent result we're getting. Um, you can always play around with the instance, or if you ever wanted to brighten it up, you can always uh, add, I think, a multiply, which is just m-click RGB. I mean, am I really here to teach you guys Unreal Engine? I barely know myself. <laughs> Uh, I think I've only made a small handful of games in this. Uh, is it to, uh, oopsies, one by default. And this one can just be named, uh, brightness. Um, apply and save, and if you ever wanted it to be brighter, playing around with these. You could also add, like, um, saturation and stuff, I think. But instance, now i got an instance, and we can play around the brightness if you want it to be lighter. Um, I think that's not actually that bad of a result, okay? I don't think I actually think that's too bad a result. Outside of that weird thing, that weird um, line, I mean, if you have more things in the scene, then that's going to be not at all an issue. Otherwise, the default would be 0.1. Um, I can't make it any smaller or anything, the stars and stuff, but um, as we were going, pretty much as small as you could go. But let's just save all. And and ultimately, yeah, that, that's all I'm going to really be going over for this today's video. This is much longer than I was planning on going, but I felt like we were getting some pretty cool results there. So, um, yeah. Hopefully that was at least entertaining. Maybe helpful, but at least entertaining. Uh, I doubt any... I Would I recommend doing that? Maybe. I mean, it's a very quick setup. Ultimately, if I wasn't recording this and trying to explain everything, I could set that all up in about two minutes. Uh, two to five minutes, and it'd be already. So, um, yeah. Ultimately, I guess if you got a result that you're after, you could just do a really quick setup like that. Very weird. Um... And, and you, this is all transferable, so if you have other uh, planets that you've made that maybe you have a cool result that you could maybe do for, like, a crazy sky, um, then you could also do that as well. Um, so I think this is not at all... It's, it's one of the things where I'm just like, there's a lot you can do with GeoGen, right? Uh, like, obviously, it's mainly a terrain software, but you can also do planets on the side. But I've always found that there's, like, a heap of other stuff. Sorry that my mic's peaking. Um that you can do outside of it like you have of course got the um you can make materials and i've got a couple of materials that i've been working on in the side that i may or may not turn into videos 
um, as well as other stuff like um, <laughs> making HDRIs or, or sky domes right now. Um, <laughs> this is I don't know if I would necessarily do this for actual projects, um, but uh, it's completely doable, and that's the whole point of this video, showing that it's completely doable. And, and showing that the opportunity is out there to redo this and, and use it for your own stuff. And so if this interests you and it was a result that you're after, then, you know, by all means, fly away, make your own one and, and do it and, and enjoy it. But uh, a bit of a weird, weird, weird video. Uh, um, not one that I would usually go about making. This is just such a weird thing because I've never really consider doing these sorts of things but yeah hopefully this was helpful hopefully this was entertaining and we'll catch you guys next time see you later bye bye thanks for watching